Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Year End Wizard assists you in closing out your first open fiscal year, payroll tax year, or both. Before you start this wizard, there are a few tasks that you should perform. You should print out any unprinted items, such as invoices and payroll checks. You should also clear the Waiting on Bill checkbox within the Purchases Receive Inventory window for any outstanding vendor purchases. If you start the wizard before you have done this, it will not proceed. You may also want to purge inactive records before this, although it isn't required. Also, since this process takes a long time to run, it is recommended that you do it at the end of the business day. Also, make sure that all other applications are closed before you begin. Just like the Purge Wizard, in this wizard you read the screens and answer any questions to provide it with the information that it requests. When you have finished with the screen, you simply click the Next button to continue to the end of the wizard. You can click the Back button to go back to previous screens and change your answers if necessary. To start the year-end wizard, select Tasks from the menu bar, roll down to the System command, and then choose the year-end wizard command. The first window is the welcome screen, which tells you the date ranges of your two open fiscal and payroll tax years. You can click the next button to continue after reading this information. The next screen asks you which years you want to close. Depending on the available options, you can close either the displayed fiscal year, the displayed payroll tax year, or both the fiscal and the payroll tax years. You may not have all the options available, depending on the structure of your fiscal and payroll tax years. The wizard will prompt you as to what it thinks is the correct choice. Select the desired option, and then click the Next button to continue. If you still have unprinted items waiting to be printed for the year which you are trying to close, Peachtree displays the Unprinted Items window. You should print out any unprinted items, as you cannot do this once you have closed the year. The next screen is the Internal Accounting Review screen. Here you can go ahead and run an internal accounting review before you close the year. This searches your company for common transaction mistakes and transactions or conditions that don't adhere to the generally accepted accounting principles. You can click the internal accounting review button to begin. When you're finished, simply click the next button to continue. Now in the next screen, you have to back up the Peachtree data. To make a backup, simply click the Backup button. The Backup Company window appears, and if you want to be prompted to back up your files again in a specified number of days, simply check the Reminder checkbox. You can check the Include Company Name in the Backup File Name checkbox in order to have Peachtree use your company's name in the name of the backup file that it creates. You can then click the Backup button to begin the backup. Now when you've finished making the backup, you can then click the Next button to continue. This will bring open the New Open Fiscal Years window. In this window, the wizard lets you review the accounting periods in your current open fiscal year and the next fiscal year. If you need to restructure your company's next fiscal year for tax purposes, you can change the date range of the accounting periods in that year. However, this is generally not necessary, but if in doubt, check with your accountant before making the changes. You can click the Current Fiscal Year option to see the ranges of the current open fiscal year. You cannot change these dates. To see the dates of the accounting period for the next fiscal year, click the Next Fiscal Year option. This will display the accounting period for the next fiscal year. To change the end dates of any of the displayed accounting periods, click the accounting period whose date you want to change. In the To column, type or select a new date. When you change the To field, the From date for the next accounting period changes as well. Simply click the Next button to continue when you're finished. The next screen is the Confirm Year End Close screen. This will confirm the years that you're closing. If you think that any of this is incorrect, you can click the back button to find the previous screen where you need to make corrections and change the incorrect options. If things look correct, just click the next button to continue. This will bring up the Begin Close Year Process screen, and you just click the Begin Close button to close out the years.
Once this process starts, however, it's imperative you do not disrupt it. Do not turn off your computer. This will take a while, so it's always best to do these processes at the end of the business day. Once it's finished, the congratulations window will appear, showing a summary of the information closed and the new accounting period information. You can simply click the Finish button to finish the process. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.